How often do you wake up and end up having a day that feels like it was wasted? Where you think to yourself, wow, I really did nothing today, and not in a good way. Maybe you slept in, or you laid around watching TV, or maybe you tried to be productive, but it all ended up being busy work. Think about that for a second. Now this is my no regrets journal. I'm writing down everything that I want to do. Next up is to build a fort. Mm, a dope fort. As for becoming an advanced yogi, I'm still working on that. It's a process. All right, so I am pulled off to the side of the road on some random road, and I'm gonna take some cute pictures because I haven't done like a little solo self-portrait for quite some time and it's much needed. They are going to be cute little adventure car pictures. I tried to find a street that wasn't busy and also had a lot of greenery, which was surprisingly very hard to do. Um, which was a little frustrating because I live in Washington, it should be a lot easier to find a street like that, but I just didn't want to drive like super far out, so that's probably why. I'm still like in the city, I'm really glad that I remembered that this road was here. Um, but yeah, it's also awkward because there are the occasional cars that drive by and like people walking their dogs, so I'm just gonna have to get over that. But yeah, let's do this. Good thing I'm done taking pictures. So I was done taking pictures. I was just doing like an Instagram post and this car like speeds by like crazy amount. I'm like, okay, hey, you don't need to be speeding in this area, dude. Like nobody speeds on these roads. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. And like the only people that come down here are people who live here for the most part. Like sometimes you'll, people park here to like walk, there's like a trail here, but um, most people park somewhere else. Anyway, so it was kind of weird that that car was like speeding out of here. Then, like maybe 30 seconds later, this guy comes driving the same way and he slows down and I'm like, oh gosh, good thing I'm not taking pictures, how embarrassing. Um, anyway, he stops and he's like, did you just see a car drive through here? And I was like, yeah, it like sped through. And he's like, yeah, he just stole our car. And I'm like, um, okay. And I felt terrible because like I was in here obviously like just taking pictures and stuff because I still had my tripod up and whatnot and I look all cute and I just like ugh, I felt so embarrassed because I'm like over here being like oh Instagram pictures blah, blah. and their car is getting stolen and he was like well did you see if it was a guy or a girl and I was like I don't know I honestly I didn't look over I just like saw I mean it was so fast too like I even if I did look I don't think I would have been able to tell if it was a guy or a girl but I felt so bad. Anyway, another car just sped by, so I'm... I think this is my, um, my, uh, sign that I need to leave. So, I'm gonna do just that. Anyway, successful shoot. Ended pretty weird. 
but um i hope they find their car that is weirdly like a common thing that happens here unfortunately at least i know of like a couple of people that their car has been stolen um car theft well just like theft in general i feel like is really common here i feel like they don't talk about about it very much just because like this is like a place where a lot of rich people live um but it definitely happens like they that's like the number one thing that people will tell you when you move to the seattle area seattle bellevue any of those areas like they say never to leave anything in your car because it will be broken into and those things will be stolen so yeah it's crazy i've never seen like car theft um happen so often in one area but yeah, as far as like actual cars being stolen, I do know a couple of people that that's happened to, unfortunately. Anyway, so I'm going to head home. I honestly was hoping that I would have already been home by now. I'm so hungry. Did not plan for this to go on for so long. I'm trying to move you guys. Ugh. Gosh. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, but that was a successful shoot. Just a very strange ending. I hope they find their car though. I mean, what are they gonna do? Literally just chase him down? Like he's just gonna keep going. Hopefully they have a full tank of gas. Anyway, stay safe out there. And um, uh, yeah, I'll... That, that's about it. <laughs> Back to how we spend each day. I'm gonna guess that after thinking about what I said before, you probably agree that you have days like that. That's why we should try to be more intentional each day we wake up. What do you want to do? If you had all the freedom in the world, what would you want to do? If it's money that's stopping you, find a way to do it without money. If it's time you don't have, find time to spare. We grow up in a world where we constantly hear no, or we can't do this, or we can't do that. By the time we are adults, we actually believe that fun things are unattainable, and that life is really all about just working and paying bills. I actively think about this every day, and I'm still trying to train my brain to think differently, to relearn that saying yes is an option. So today, I decided to build a fort. Yes, I'm an adult. And yeah, the world would say that's immature and childish. I say I want to have some fun. Forget what the world thinks. I'm living my life with no regrets.